Hello YouTuber, CDMan Gacker, I'm bringing you another Red Dead Redemption minigame video. This one's on horseshoes. I actually had a person comment on my Baller Twin Scrap video. He was having trouble getting a horseshoe game filled in. I can't remember his name right now, I apologize. So I decided to throw one up. Horseshoes, we all kinda of know it. Closest horseshoe to the pole wins. You get ringers. For each horseshoe that is closest to the pole, all you get one point if you get a ringer it's worth three points so that's kind of the object so let's just kind of look right here what you want to do first when you step up is to aim using L2 you kind of want to center the pole right in the middle kind of keep it just a little off your finger and then what I like to do is move the right analog stick back and forth three times kind of see the momentum and then you want to release it right when it's about green ish and you don't want to throw it by the center when it's at the center bar if you do that it if you do that, it will usually like go over it. What you want to do is just be barely under that white little um, what is that? A da white dash, I'll say, on that radar. If you go, if you hit the first one, the black one, it's too short. If you hit the other marker, marker whatever. If you hit the black marker that's above the white marker, it'll go too far. I'm just gonna take little snippets out of here. I think right here is where I get a ringer. But yeah, horseshoes. It can be kind of inconsistent on length. Right there, I was barely under the white marker, and it gave me a ringer. I'm like, cool, dude, cool. Let's see if I can get the same result right here, though. I'm just a, I was just a little bit under, and I was just sort of two ringers. That would have been awesomeness. But four points, because I had the ringer, and also the closest horseshoe, compared to my opponent. And now it's first 211, horseshoe-wise, game, and you have to win by two. And I just got more video, because this guy, he just whips me like five times in a row, and he catches up pretty quick. But this is my last toss. Again, you'd line it up, give a couple swings, try to get it right below the white marker. I think right there is a bit too low, but it was close enough because that was the winning point right there. I think with the horseshoe, it's like the closest point. I don't think it's the farthest part back of the horseshoe. It's like the closest to it, I imagine. Right there, you see, I think I might have went dead on the marker and it totally just cleared the pole entirely. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's incredibly short, but hopefully this helps you. Someone in horseshoes, just keep practicing at it, and hope you have a big wallet. We'll see you later.